Hello, good morning, happy Friday. Thank you so much for joining me for another Saints and Angels Oracle Deck reading for our week to come. It is um, March 15th today, 2024, the third Friday here in March under our uh, theme that we are given, uh, the Two of Pentacles, just in case anyone has missed uh, or is new here, right? Um, March has given us this uh, Two of Pentacles from Tarot to to work with and ruminate on and also right to speak through the angel cards every week a little bit uh, with more clarity each week or giving us a little bit more to work on underneath that same umbrella concept uh, and in case anybody is unfamiliar um, directly with the meanings and you missed that first um, March 1st reading the uh, Two of Pentacles is, it did come up reverse initially too, uh, which some people don't even read reversals and that's okay. I myself like to look at reversals as just letting us know that it might be uh, struggling with the shadow concepts of the card, the more negative aspects of the card, that we might be either uh, too focused on those ourselves and, and having a real um, mindset that's focused on those more negative aspects of the cards and we need to work to, to pull ourselves out of that um, throughout the month. Or it could be saying that um, our external world, you know, might be kind of poking at us and triggering or uh, causing catalytic kind of scenarios and circumstances around uh, the topic of the two of pentacles, right? which is, uh, in itself, Pentacles represents money, uh, finances, material stability and security. So not just, you know, fiat dollars and currency, but also anything that you use as a currency or you think of um, in your world as a form of that uh, s stability for yourself. So, you know, it can be land, it can be stocks, bonds, uh, assets of other kinds, it's basically about how you make your transactions and exchanges in the world. And the two really is all about choice points, yes, this or that. Um, it could be duality. It could be um, also more of not a this or that kind of, but both of them look really unappealing and perhaps feeling like a stalemate choice, um, back against a wall, kind of a rock and a hard place type of thing. So if, uh, and even if today, you know, if you're not watching this in real time and you're somewhere in, in the future, just know that those concepts are larger, longer term energies around you right now and uh, around the collective and around us right now in the present moment. Um, but, but yeah, it's a bigger sort of umbrella theme that you have been moving through and I'm sure you're recognizing and hearing, oh yeah, this and that of the last couple of weeks, two weeks or so maybe, you know, um, have had occurrences of that sort, right? Calling you to discern in that sort of category of, you know, maybe it's a job, maybe it's how to spend money, maybe it's how to save money, you know, whatever. Um, to, to bring it into the present moment, though, and to uh, talk about now, right? <laughs> Um, thank you for listening to the recap. If you are not new, really appreciate that. Um, but, but we could always always use reminders even if you did watch. Sometimes, especially I'm finding this new energies and I'm, you know, since the new year and now, you know, into the spring energies are coming into the mix and also the new moon I feel was really impactful. Um, for, for me, myself, but also collectively, I've seen a lot of shifts happening and changing and breakthroughs, even in people who are not, you know, awakened. <laughs> They're more, um, you know, they haven't individuated from like the, the consensus collective really. So I'm seeing even those types having shifts and changes. Um, and it's really been a fast moving amplified momentum of energies just like finally things are breaking for people finally some people are either like enough is enough or we're finally doing this together 
um, you know, and it's really, it's really nice to see um, the reflections out there. Um, but also, <laughs> it brings in a bit of a chaotic rush. It, it's, it's hard not to look at it, especially from somebody like me who's an organized kind of t individual. Um, <laughs> It can seem almost disorganized and worrisome and like you want to s figure it out, <laughs> you know, for yourself. And um, that is, for me, a working point to, to realize, you know, the beauty in the movement and to, under to, to know in myself. I don't need to understand and know everybody else's dance steps in the whole procession. I just need to feel mine and do mine and, and enjoy it. That's the point, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, so... If you're feeling this, those same energies, you know, that's kind of what's been brewing uh, for me. And that's how I've been sort of working um, through the things in my own world. But, but yeah. <laughs> uh, my main point in saying all of that, actually, you know, I skirted around the bush and I didn't even say what I was talking about, which is like the speeding up of time and the momentum <laughs> and the energy collection. Things seem to be a lot more amplified, a lot more alive. Um a lot more like the potentials feel more solid like you could just grasp them and go and, they, and they're gonna work um, to me at least and that's really uh, a really nice supportive kind of feeling so yeah uh, thinking if there was anything else I wanted to kind of briefly talk about before we did the cards and get ready to hear what they have to say um, but I don't think so. So yeah, maybe we'll do a quick little grounding here to just, uh, join as a good audience, right? And open our hearts and minds so that we are prepared to hear the messages from our beautiful saints and angels for this week to come, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to close my eyes and lead us just through a little, uh, meditation quickly. You feel free to close yours and follow along. You can listen if you can't close your eyes right now or you're doing something or that's just not your thing, that's okay. Um, you can watch or just listen along, you know, it's nothing too intense or long, <laughs> hopefully. Sometimes I get a bit carried away. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna close our eyes, like I said, or perhaps you could just relax your gaze. If you'd like to sit or lay down, get comfortable, adjust yourself for a minute, let's take just a second to do that for ourselves. Taking a few conscious breaths while we do it. And now, let's breathe in. breathe out. A few deep, slow breaths, filling up and letting go. Notice the quality of air and the quality of your breath. If it's feeling rushed and forced, try to slow yourself down. If the in-breath feels caught in the head, in the neck and shoulders even, breath. Try if you can to bring the breath down on the inhale. See it traveling down the esophagus, down, down into your belly, the pit of your belly. <laughs> Filling that whole cavernous
And exhale. Gently rises out, squeezing out the air. You can feel the abdomen, that space closing in. See the air pulling in, flowing down like water would flow down a waterfall, filling up like a pool down in your diaphragm. Feel how Try to seal your lips and breathe in through the nose, drawing in the air. Again, see it like a waterfall. Through the nostrils cascading down the throat and esophagus, passing the lungs and filling the diaphragm. Try holding and retaining comfortably. Feel that pool, see it as a whirlpool, majestic, magical, just there for you. With the exhale, rise up and out whenever is comfortable. Breathing in. Holding, witnessing, breathing out, releasing, relaxing. With the visualization and the sensation. Build inside the imagination and inside the body vessel too. And now, as we've calmed ourselves. Maybe it's set in a forest or a jungle. Maybe it's an oasis inside a desert. Maybe even it's a snowy winter setting and the water is rushing past icicles and glaciers and snow-covered banks. Wherever Coolness is perfect for you today. As you breathe, breathe life into your imagination, into the setting you're creating in your beautiful mind's eye. Remember the feeling. Create validity for your visualization. Try to bring sounds, smells, 
other life, whether it's animal movement or other people, background smells and sounds. Let yourself really create this sacred waterfall and pond. Are they bare feet or sandals or shoes or boots? See them on the ground as they are. Feel their placement. Feel maybe sand, dirt, leaves. Maybe it's boots, stability, security. going to walk over to that pond. We're going to take three steps and make our way. One, two, three. You're there, you kneel down at the edge of that pond. Notice, is it bubbling? Is it busy? Or is it still? Is the waterfall busy and crashing, creating rapids? Or does it land gracefully, creating gentle ripples and waves? Breathe into the water and into the experience. Remember your breath controls the water speed. Breathe into it, slowing it and allowing that pond in front of you to become still like glass. Now lean over and peer into that and love for the reflection that you see there. Don't critique or pick apart. Don't wonder who it is or why this or that or how could it be that. See it. Own it. Open acknowledgement. Ah, yes. Hello, old friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a moment to just gaze into that image. If the water is busy, if your mind is busy, just breathe. Taking the time to do this exercise, for taking the time to witness the reflection of you, the observer you are, to see what the creator sees through your eyes. yourself. Have a smile. Feel unconditional love. The unique individual you are. And 
as you do this and as you truly connect with your reflection, the sun catches on the water and it's sparkling, it's so bright. You notice changes in your reflection. You see face after face flickering there where your face was before. Maybe parents and friends, children, grandparents, extended family. Maybe it's strangers or people you don't even like flashing in front of you, reflecting back at you through the light, through the love of the creator, the sun, who sees all, watches over all the logos. reflections and allow the brightness to take over creating white or golden perhaps it's a crystal reflection any coloredness filling up your very sight your entire being stability as bright and as sturdy as our great sun allow it to fill up every corner of you right out down fingers and toes out the ends of your hair As it raises above your head, up and out, see it like the rays of the sun beaming down on you. Soak them in and know those are your specific beams of light and love, of knowledge, wisdom, and information sent directly from source to you. Source sends them out to all, to every image we saw in that world. They each receive the beams designated to design divinely for them, for this design, this working. See for a moment the sun shining down over you at that pond, over the trees and all the life, all the organic life, all the people on the earth. See how you can scale out your vision to see the whole earth, our space, receiving light from the logos, receiving the information they need to know, the love they are asking for. Mm. Perhaps you'd like to bring your hands together in prayer or at your heart center, or maybe just Hold gratitude in your heart for this vision, the whole, blessing it and thanking it for its divine purpose. Take that image and bring it into your heart like a masterpiece on the wall of your heart center, that emerald castle that resides within you. Plaster it there, remember it always, honor it. Just as I honor you and I honor all of us for taking this time, for sitting down and creating a space of honesty and recognition of open hearts and minds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you for your audience and for listening to us. Saints, angels, ascended masters, source, Mother Earth, God, our higher selves, all those in spirit and higher densities who witness and observe our journey here, we thank you. And we ask you for support or advice or guidance for this beautiful week to come here on March 15th, 2024. one I haven't seen in a while. Commitment. Oh, what a beautiful image as well. Commitment with your guardian angel. So guardian angels, internal work and light. Where we, we know we have the strength, our angels know we have the strength to do the work this week. To hearken into our commitments and, and redefine our commitments, right? Oh, this is so synchronistic to how I've been refocusing on foundation with myself. 23. Although you may have experienced difficulties or fear, this card is a message from your guardian angel to stay committed. Honor your promises to your loved ones and keep your word to yourself and others. If you're feeling conflicted about having enough time for your responsibilities, then call upon your angels to help. You appear to be worried about a decision that you're grappling with. This card reminds you to follow through on your dreams, goals, and intentions. Stay committed to your priorities and give them the daily attention they deserve. Oh, wow. So reminded of important role, you know, we're designated with, we're birthed into. It's so crucial. Remember that you're ultimately in charge of your schedule. You have the right to say no to requests that pull you away from your commitments. Your angels can help you when you feel overwhelmed or overcommitted. To receive heaven's aid in this matter, give the entire situation to God. Be honest with yourself and your angels about your feelings, including any guilt or sense of obligation. These emotions can drain your en energy, making it even more difficult to fulfill your obligation. You are loved and honored by heaven, which has your best interests at heart. In addition to caring about the welfare of your loved ones, your guardian angels enfold you with their loving wings and help you to enjoy yourself, to in yeah, to enjoy yourself as you accomplish everything on your list. <sighs> wow. What a beautiful message and uh, <laughs> really relevant for myself, but I hope it's very relevant for you too. I hope uh, you hear messages in there that are divinely uh, directed into your world and uh, specific to you. Um, I, yeah, I'm not going to even, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Let the card speak for itself. Thank you so much for joining me this Friday, and I hope that I'll see you next Friday. Have a wonderful uh, weekend, wherever in the world you are. Um, I'll see you next week. <laughs>